Hello everyone, welcome back to my NASAC YouTube channel. I'm going to continue my Psychotic Secret Server Lab. I'm going to talk about the SSH proxy. So normally, when you are launching your RDP or SSH session, it will directly from your client machine to target server. This is some um, three-step traffic flow. While using SSH proxy, you can proxy your RDP traffic and SSH traffic over your psychotic secret server SSH proxy. So in that way, from your psychotic secret server or distributed engine, only one firewall rule will be needed. So you from your client machine, you don't have to directly open your uh, firewall port to your target server. In certain case, lab will help you to reduce your firewall rules to meet your company's security policy as well. So let's start it. This is my psychotic secret server web GUI. So uh, my secret server IP is 192.168.2.243 at this moment. Uh, port 22, um, this I uh, didn't uh, install Telnet, but uh, we can try to open port 22 to there, you won't be able to uh, connect into it. That's the reason because we didn't enable SSH proxy. Um, so in this way, um, if once we enabled proxy in in psychotic secret server, then you should be able to do that. So go to admin, proxy, and uh, simple, just one click, you got it enabled. There's a couple things you also want to enable as well. You want to enable SS terminal. So you have SS proxy banner you can configure it, and the proxy port we are using default 22, but you can customize to any port you want. We didn't enable SS tunneling right now, um, since we are doing SSH over SSH proxy, so we don't need SSH tunneling. But once we aren't using RDP over SSH proxy, which is SSH tunneling, then we need to enable that. So we can give it try again. As you can see, once we enable SS proxy, automatically port 22 opened. Um, you can try to use your administrator account, local administrator to log in. You should be able to get into the SS terminal. Uh, one thing remember, um, we enabled the SSH terminal, terminal, but if you didn't do that, then you won't be able to log in. So we enabled our SSH proxy right now, but our secret still not using SSH proxy since our secret policy didn't configure that way. So we want to try to use in regular way and then we should be able to see the traffic is directly from our client machine to the target. Once we enable the secret to use proxy, then we should be able to see the client is SSH to our psychotic server, and the psychotic server will go to target server directory. So first thing we want to check right now we don't have port 22. Uh, we do have two secret server. We cannot close that. 
we don't need that right now. So there's no twenty two traffic. Once we launch to destination using party launcher. The password is different right now. We're gonna use our own password. So now we log in using the party launcher from Psychotic Secret Server. Uh, but the actually the traffic is directly from local to the target. 192.168.2.41 to remote machine. Now we're going to enable the policy. You can check uh, which, policy, which policy we are using. Right now it's not using any no secret policy. We're going to create one and assign to this Linux admins password folder. Admin secret policies. Create new enable proxy. So we're going to set it to enforced and make a check mark on it. And then save. We can assign a new secret policy to this folder. Uh, we can check the um, security. So you can see enable proxy right now. You have option to add it, enable it. But once we apply policy, this option will not be available, it will be enabled and enforce the lab policy. So we're going to add it folder. Save. Let's check a secret. Let's check the security tab. So enable policy, you can tell it's become yes. You cannot make a change on this option anymore. So right now we enable uh, proxy. Um, so we should be able to do whatever we need to do, but the, all traffic goes through proxy. We're going to verify that. Party launcher. You see the banner? Welcome to secret server SSH proxy. But unfortunately, it says unable to connect to one. It says no more authentication methods available. It's unable to connect to it. That means we have something configured wrong. We should add that into this secret. So we're going to troubleshooting on that and then continue to make this happen. But now we can tell the traffic has gone through the secret server as a proxy. So we come back to SSH proxy settings. If you look at the logs, then you will see we need to re restart the SSH proxy server due to the configuration changes. So we missed the list step that's causing our SSH proxy not working properly at this moment. So we're going to reboot the server and then come back to check it again. 
Okay, our secret server has been rebooted. Um, the, you can tell secret server has service has been started and bind into port 22 on all IP address this machine have 0 0.0.0.0. 0 .0, 0 .0. So now we're gonna give it try. Um, we're gonna use in. Linux admins at password. Gonna Linux one to this server. We can do party launcher. Okay, we can tell the party has using the proxy right now and it's logged in. So from one thing we can test it previously when we do party session is from local directly to destination server. Now we do same command. We can tell the port number is changing. We are we don't have the SSH traffic to the destination. We do have one from local to our proxy server 22 and from there then we have connection to the destination from our secret server that's the traffic flow this is very basic how to enable ssh proxy and how to use it and enable on a secret policy and apply to the folder and testing and verify Thank you for watching.